It's a potentially dangerous trend, medicating younger and younger kids for different psychological disorders. No one knows the long-term effects of these powerful drugs. One expert says doctors are pressured to diagnose by insurance companies, but those diagnoses can often be wrong. Jennifer Gooden is a mom who sounds more like a pharmacist. We tried the cat vey, Stratera, Zoloft, Adderall, Daytranic. We switched to the Intuna. Those are the medicines her seven year old son Carter has already tried. Born with a chromosome anomaly, he's also on seizure medication and has been diagnosed with ADHD. Doctors started recommending strong prescription meds when Carter was a toddler. Jennifer put them off. Just because he was three. It's hard because you're giving a child a medicine that you don't really know what it's doing to them. The Goodens are one of many families facing this serious dilemma. One study shows one in 70 preschoolers is taking a psychiatric drug. Toddlers diagnosed with things like ADD, ADHD, ODD, and bipolar disorder before they can even tie their shoes. And is that safe? Um, it's, it's really kind of unknown if it's safe. I mean, exactly what these medicines are doing to the brain and to the rest of the body as little children develop is, is not really well studied at all. Doctors at Riley Hospital for Children at Indiana University Health are currently studying the effect of the drug Concerta on young brains, kids 10 to 14 who have been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. There's no doubt that it's changing how the brain is developing. Child and adolescent psychiatrist Leslie Hulvershorn believes that while medications can be extremely helpful for some kids, they can be very dangerous for others. Her experience tells her young children are being overdiagnosed and drugs to treat them overprescribed. Physicians and other mental health professionals are under pressure to, cr to code a diagnosis in order to be able to bill. Families will go from provider to provider and hear different diagnoses between different people because it's, it's just unclear exactly what's going on at that age. As a general rule, Dr. Halvershorn prescribes to kids only five and older, and she cautions against letting kids remain on psychiatric drugs for years. The biggest problem, she says, is finding qualified child psychiatrists experienced in prescribing brain-altering drugs. In all of medicine, the biggest shortage is, uh, of physicians is, is in child and adolescent psychiatry, and pediatricians are kind of left in the lurch. Many doctors are concerned about long-term effects because there's so little research. Doctors have mentioned questions about everything from brain development to weight gain, which could lead to high cholesterol and diabetes. A lot of unknowns. They suggest parents always get a second opinion and try therapy first and medicate as a last resort.